it's Sarah Taylor. I've got a lot to show you, so I'm going to get right to it. Um, this is a quinacridone magenta base coat. And then this is kind of a turquoise green base coat. I use Charvin um, light blue uh, and the sky light blue with a little bit of um, this blue base coat, actually, which is uh, mineral blue by Soho. And then that is Matisse Australian red violet and white. So those are all base coat colors. They have satin enamel in them. And then this is my puddle paint mixtures. That's a white and a gold, which is ore and harvest gold combined. Those are both uh, Fluid Art Company TLP pigments. That's Ocean Blue by Charvin. And another magenta that's actually um, some Show Pony by TLP mixed with a little bit of Quinacridone magenta by Charvin. Another Charvin color that's their bright gold yellow. And then that is uh, Pineapple Crush by Color Art. And that is Ginger Peach by Color Art. So those two are going to give us a little bit of bleeding, um, a little bit of the, the uh, melting pearl effect. And that's just a nice dark navy blue mixture. It's uh, mostly Prussian blue. And a couple high flow colors. Quinac Radone Magenta and Transparent Red Iron Oxide. I have the um, canvas here. This is a 16 by 24 inch canvas. 16 by 20? Oh goodness, I'll put it in the description. <laughs> um, this painting will be the auction painting for the Fluid Art Experience. So when you attend the gala at the event, there's going to be a painting from each artist that we will auction off to somebody in the audience. And you do have to be present at the gala to, um, to be able to be part of that event. So that's going to be really cool. I mean, it's, um, everything's going to be at least a 20 inch by 20 inch or, or similar, like an approximate size. So nice size canvas. Um, and I love this painting. It's, uh, these colors, I just, I, I'm really loving these really saturated base coat colors. It's a great way to play with color with a pearl painting. And I will be teaching multiple color base coat in my advanced pearl class at the event. And we'll get into it a little bit too, probably in the um, intermediate, which I think is sold out. But there is, I think there's a few slots in my advanced pearl. You don't have to be super experienced. I call it advanced because we are going to be working with some multiple colors and just kind of getting a little bit more in depth about composition and how to add color into a painting. So um, you guys, I'm just so happy to be coming back to this event. The, the artists are... Um, some have just become really good friends and we have so much fun together preparing and then coming to, to the event. So uh, if you're interested, let me know. There's uh, lots of information below and it's soon. So we will see you there. I just, uh, I'm really excited about it. And as you can tell, <laughs> but um, basically I just want to talk a little bit more about the painting itself here. So what I did is I, spread those colors out through the center of the canvas and then I took my white base coat and that's the thing with fluid paint you know you it's kind of hard to get an exact composition you want just by tilting so you know being a little bit more intentional with it you can um, you can really play with your base coats this way so it's okay that they're kind of blending and not looking perfect at this point because I'm going to run all those other colors over the top of it anyways so it's okay that they're that it's a little bit messy at this point. I just really mostly want to get the colors on there, get them in a um, you know kind of the composition that I'm that I'm going for, which for me a lot of the time starts on the upper left hand corner and runs down um, diagonally through the canvas. It's just kind of how my brain works, I think. So, and then on top of those I go in with the puddle paints so I start with the white which is modern masters iridescent pearl with golden fluid titanium white and the gold so a lot of times I do this I'll start with the white and the gold and then I went in with the dark blue the paint it's like a Prussian blue and then a little bit of the um, pineapple crush and I wanted those to blend a little bit and give me some different green colors and shades that's the ginger peach 
and a little bit of magenta just for fun. I have quite a lot of magenta in the base coat, but I wanted a little bit more. And then back in with my darkest color. That's actually the Prussian blue. The other blue in there was the um, Charvin Ocean Blue, which is a gorgeous color. And now we tilt. So this is so fun. <laughs> I love these colors. I mean, it's pretty wild. Um, you know, I drop quite a bit of it off the corner. You, you have to put a lot of paint on in your puddle just to get the movement. So you do end up dumping, you know, a good amount of it off. I do save all of this, all of this paint that comes off the canvas. I scrape it up. I save it in various containers and jars and I do all sorts of different things with them. So I'm actually bringing a lot of those paints with me to the event so we can use different shades of base coat and tint our white base coats and do things like that. So it'll be really fun. Uh, I'm just going to play with it. I'm going to go in with some 24 karat gold by DecoArt and do some cloud over and adjust and play. And I hope you enjoy it. Um, I'll share more details about FAE at the end of this video. And thank you to all my fellow fluid art experience artists. You guys are amazing. Um, and I can't wait to see you here in a week or so. All right. Much love.